can you tell me a little bit about what's happened here? Please? Yeah, what's happened is uh, around about half three this afternoon, a member of the public has um, discovered a blue barrel on the rocks behind us, um, which was leaking a green substance. There's no markings on the barrel, and we've not been able to identify what it is. As a precaution, uh, the fire and rescue service are here uh, with their hazmat team, and they're going to um, remove the barrel um, and try and identify what it is. And can you tell me a little bit about what you found down there? Yeah, we responded today to reports of uh, a drum on the beach with a chemical leaking out of it. We are unsure as to what the chemical uh, was, uh, so we came down with the appliances uh, to try and identify it and sort the problem out. Uh, one of the issues we've always had in the past is a lot of the drums that we find on the beach have no markings, and if they do have markings, there can be another substance in the drum which has been put there. Um, left on the beach, they're usually unidentifiable. Um, we had very little to go on, apart from a few numbers on the side, which made it difficult. Yeah. In the past, what we've done is got the public analyst, which means somebody's got to come down, take a sample back to a lab. It can be a few hours, tying up fire crews and disruption to the local area. Um, we've since bought the Ahura First Defender, which is a, basically a chemical identification unit. Uh, does it by a ram and laser. You can either take a sample from the laser given out here, or what we did this time was we took a vial. The vial goes into here, does that. And the guys in the gas tight suits take it in, basically hit scan, and it come up as ethylene glycol, which we've identified within two minutes. Uh, we're in previous operations, could have been here four or five hours. So this, this new piece of a kit today uh, has absolutely saved us a fortune, many time, disruption, and has uh, been a godsend. It's the first time it's been used. Yeah. And it's uh, been a success, so I suppose that's going to be used in all situations like this from now on. There's certain, certain substances it'll identify and certain substances it won't identify. Right. Um, but if nothing else, this can give us, even if it can't identify it, uh, we can take the SD card out of it into a computer and through the internet we can send it back to the manufacturer in America. they will say, well, we haven't identified it, but it, it could be this or this. Right. So they can, we've got further, further backup in America, and that's uh, 24-7, 365 days a year. So it is, really is a, a great piece of kit and a godsend. And can I just ask, confirm what was actually in the uh, tub that was found? It says it there, ethylene glycol. And, uh, and what is that substance? Is it dangerous? Uh, not really. It's antifreeze. 